Hello, it's me, DB, and welcome to All Things Brass and Technology. And I'm in DB Studios, yes. Today on the channel, what I want to talk to you about, I'm going back time a little. I want to talk about this trumpet right here. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. This is an Adams trumpet. Oh, yeah. This is the Adams DB trumpet that was made for me. And just in case you don't know, I am DB. DB. In the place to be always coming faithfully. Straight down the middle, don't sleep. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk to you about this Adam's trumpet that was made for me. And we call it the DB trumpet. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's next. Let's get it! Is, uh, I just got this mouthpiece. I love Bach mouthpieces, especially Mount Vernon. If you see me playing a Bach, there's a Mount Vernon or it's a KK trumpet mouthpiece, my trumpet maker in Japan. But this is a new mouthpiece that I just got. It's a New York Mount Vernon Bach 8. Donald Bird, I guess they used to just call it straight. So if there's like no letter after it, it's straight. So this is just a straight eight. I like it, man. This, whoo, it's a nice mouthpiece, man. You dig? Anyway, let me get back to this. <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked, man. I'm a Gemini, but you dig? So. I'm trying to remember. I'm just going off the cuff. I'm trying to remember how I linked up with the Adams Company. Because we're going back to maybe 2010. Back in time. Back in time. You know? Um, I, I was playing with Roy Hargrove's big band. Yeah. And we were in the Netherlands. I think it was where we were at North Sea Jazz Festival. Yeah, man. So, Meal Adams came down to see lead trumpet player Frank Green. And he brought him a flugelhorn. So he, you know, I, I just happened to be around when he came, came through came back in the green room and, you know, Frank's, hey, Emil, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, hey, man, I'm checking it out. Even though I'm doing my thing, I'm in my own space, but I'm always aware of everything around me. And so, you know, I saw Meal. I didn't know it was Meal, but I saw a cat. That is Meal. Pull out his flugelhorn, they were talking, and the flugelhorn, a pretty man. And I was like, what? And he handed it off to uh, Frank. So, uh, you know, I said, hey, 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 what's up, man? It's a nice flugelhorn, man. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> you know, he said, hey, this is Neil Adams. Um, great, um, you know, brass company. He said, hey, man, D, you should check him out. So I met Neil then. And so 
I'm not sure. I think I got meals information. I said, hey, man. So, you know, I talked to Frank. Say, yeah, man, they're making really good trumpets, man. Flugelhorns. So I think I took down meals information. And uh, then I linked up with him. I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't through Trent Austin. I think I, I, it was a direct connect. So I linked up with me and I said, hey, man, I want you to make me a trumpet. He said, we can do that. He said, do you have anything in mind? I said, man, you know, I want it to be versatile. I want it to be a chameleon, all kind of colors, but, you know, on the dark side. And he said, okay, I need more information. I said, okay, I got you. I like tunable bell. You know, if I find a horn that I love, I immediately make it, I you know, I take it to the... Uh, trumpet repair person and say make this tunable bell for me I don't know I just like tunable bell tunable uh, you know horns that are tunable for me uh, or tunable bells okay let's get this straight for me it just plays freer to me and you know what I don't even really tune from the back still tune from the front but I don't know it just feels freer to me so, you know, when I linked up with Shelky, I was like, yo, man, hey, X3, let's make that tunable. Let's make, hey, right away. You know, because the first Shelky I had was an X3, but it was just, you know, it wasn't tunable bell or interchangeable bells and all that. And so when Shelky made me my, my uh, X3 that I play on now, it was, um, I requested that. And that horn is great. Um, my Donald Bird Blackbird Trumpet Tunable Bell. That horn I use with the Martin Committee Deluxe Bell. Woo, that's not, I'm going to do a review on that. Uh, it was Donald Bird Dick Ackwright Blackbird Trumpet. Killing. But at any rate, I said, Meal, I need it to be Tunable Bell. I want it to be Large Bore. Zaldis. So right off the bat, let's go through it, man. So we, because, you know, Adams, at that time, even to this day, we'll get to this. They weren't making horns with that were tunable bell. Not everybody likes those horns. There's not a big, maybe there's not a big market for it, but I like it. You know, you know, if I find a horn that I love, unless it's like vintage, like my uh, Martin Large Boar, Number three, I wouldn't touch that. You know, I just, you know, because it's vintage. It's very expensive. So I wouldn't cut it and make it tunable bell. But I said, well, I want it tunable bell. So, you know, so here, check it out. You can look at this. So it's tunable bell. Beautiful, man. And you take the bells off. You dig? So here it is. You see that? And there's the bell. And, you know, then I requested... Uh, several different types of bells. So I have like, you know, different bell sizes. I like rose brass or copper, you know. So I have, you know, a few copper bells. I think I have a brass bell. I think I have a sterling silver bell. I have around three, four bells with this. And then, um, and I think, you know, what really frees it up is not having that brace like you see on most trumpets like the Bach where the brace is here. You got this freedom here. I don't know, it just feels more open to me. Okay? You know, pretty valve tops. I got the red on, but I have blue. All kinds of colors, man. And then it has this. And where you could change you know, the mouthpiece gap. Yeah, man. Woo! This is deep. This is great. You know, I love this. You don't really, I don't, I don't know if you 
you don't really find these on Adam's trumpets. You know, I said, hey, man, put that on there. And for me, what this does, it changes the brightness and darkness of the horn. If I have it all the way in, not touching, because if I if I if I make them touch, it feels a little tight to me. But if I just go right up before it touches, it's brighter. And the more I pull that bad boy out, it becomes fluffy, man. Brrr, fluffy. <laughs> this is the the the, the how, well, let me let me let me let me come up with a name. Um, the the maybe the the, the fluff button maybe <laughs> not really a button because I'm turning it, but the fluff factor. The more you go out, boy, that horn gets fluffy, man, dark. So you know what I love about this horn is it's. There's so much possibilities on it that you can get out of it. Now, I'm going to say this, and I'm a straight shooter, man. And I'm always going to be honest. I'm always, I'm always going to be honest with my audience. Man, you guys follow me and, you know, hey, man, I'm be straight. I'm a straight shooter. I'm not a big fan of Adam Trumpets. You know, they got the... A1, A2, 3, 4, 5, You know, they got so many different A this, A that, A that. I'm not really a big fan of their instruments, but I'll tell you one thing. If you go to the factory and you build a horn with meal, that horn is going to play. He will deliver you a great horn. Now, just off of the assembly line, A1, A2, A3, I don't know. But I know if you go and you sit with that man and have dinner with him and talk about what you need, he's going to build you a horn that will deliver. Straight down the middle. Like he did for me. Now, you may ask, well, why don't you play it? Hey man, I when I found that Shelky X3, you better watch it. <laughs> that X3 is special, man. But I am revisiting this horn. Yeah, man. I'm revisiting it. I'm going to be playing this for next couple of months, just rebonding with this bad boy. And, you know, I'll show you some pictures because it has my initials I'll show some I'll show you some pictures you know as we go but you know what I want to do I want to take you on my journey making this horn when I went to the factory I want you to see that from top to bottom from start to finish now I know and one other thing before I show you this video because we're going back, I don't know, 12 years. You know, I've seen this. There's a couple trumpet players out in the world that are playing this. I ain't going to name no names. <laughs> and, you know, I'm good friends with Trent Austin. But then I saw something on his uh, YouTube page and it was this horn. So I hit him up. I said, hey, Trent. Wait a second, man. Tunable bell? You know, you got this uh, mouthpiece gap. That looks like the horn that I designed. Now, this is like based on the A4, but with a lot of different things that I wanted. A4 don't come with tunable bells and all that stuff, interchangeable bells, no. I asked Trans, hey, man. He said, yeah, I got a big announcement. You got this new horn, blah, 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 blah. I said, what? That looks identical to what I went down to the factory and designed. He said, yeah, you know, it's, you know, it has some similarities, but it's different. Okay. 
At any rate, let's go to the video and let me take you on this journey when I went down to the factory to build this. Well, for them to build it, but for me to be there to tell them what I needed. And this is what I ended up with, which is a great trumpet. So let's go. Let's check this out. You know what's next. Let's get it. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Darren Bear for Darren Bear TV. I'm in Holland at the Adams Musical Instrument Company working with Neil Adams on the Darren Barrett model trumpet. It's incredible, the DB model. Listen, I'm taking you inside so you can check out the factory. You're not gonna believe it is gorgeous. And you can see these masters at work. Here we go, DB TV. Hey guys, so I'm in the, I'm in the, uh... hey guys, uh, I'm inside now and I'm just in the main floor of the building and I'm just going to let you see a bit of this. Check this out. It's so gorgeous. all in this room. Let's, let's go around and look at these guys do their thing. Let's watch them. Let's watch these masters at work. Everything is done to perfection. Yeah. Yeah, here at Adams, it's really incredible because everything is handmade. Handmade to precision. Look at the craftsmanship that goes in there. Look at all the different bells, trumpet bells. Incredible. Over here you get a shot at the metal. All the metal that they use to make these incredible instruments. I'm here with Mia Adams. He's working on the DB model. Trumpet designer. Master designer. Guys, this is Taste. He's one of the main engineers here at Adams. Yeah, that's true. We're uh, working for seven years now. Been working here for seven yeah. years. It's an incredible company to work for, right? Incredible. Eh? Wow. I enjoy it every day. Wow. We, you know, I could say personally, I love your work and I love all the great instruments you're making here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. My dad is a uh, mess. Oh, no, sir. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right now they're bending a bell that we're going to test on the DB model. Sterling silver. rocking a beard boy Are you kidding me now clean baby clean 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 <laughs> yeah but it was great man to to revisit that yeah i stand by my words man you get with the adams company and meal and you get them to make you a horn they're gonna deliver a beautiful horn man like this is it's a great great trumpet i'm play a little for you Demonstrated for you with uh, my Bach Mount Vernon Straight 8 that I just got. So I'll be using the Mount Vernon Straight 8 and the DB Adams Trumpet. Yeah, man. Yes. Oh, yes. And I'll just use uh, this is the, uh, let me see. This is my copper bell. I'll just use that bell to do some demoing and I'll show you some pictures of it too with some of the uh you know with the DB stamp and all that stuff the red tops man look at that beautiful man great trumpet man really great trumpet and then at the end of the video I got one more Adams surprise which I'm going to do a whole nether video on but for now let me play for you. Even though you heard me playing it at the very end. You know, that was straight off the press, man. It was just straight out of the printing or the spraying and everything. I got my hands on that boy, started lighting it up, man. 
But let me play a little, let me play a little something, I don't know, some melody, some pretty melody. Here we go. <laughs> respect man these great songs these great songs that these composers wrote with these beautiful melodies man memories of you man i had to stop it was getting too deep hey let me stop yes lose yourself in the music man pick up that horn and blow man let's keep it moving I'm telling you, this horn will go whichever way you want it to go. Yeah, man. Let's fluff it up a little. Let's fluff it up, man. Uh, I'm a total geek. <laughs> Pull it out. Let's get that sucker out, boy. Let's listen to this. Because I know you'll probably say, hey, man, how come you didn't let us hear, hear it with the, the fluff factor? It's fluffing. Look out. It's all the way out, man. I got to retune it, though. Let me let you hear this. Yes, let's get it. <laughs> Hey, that's it. That's it. Hey, man, this is my honest feelings about, uh, you know, this Adams trumpet that uh, the Adams Company and Meal Adams made for me years back. Hey, listen, I got to get out of here. I got a rehearsal. But you know what? It's always great. Hang. Hey. Mm. I just remembered. One last thing. Un momento, por favor. In my opinion, humble opinion, of course, this is the best horn that Adams makes. One more time. It's a one of a kind. Yes. And I will have not even a review. I will have a story on this one. You're not going to want to miss it. It's entertaining. My name is DB. And if you like the content, 
on this channel, all things brass and technology, I invite you to subscribe. Click on the notification bell and that will let you know every time me, DB, drops a new video. Please spread the word about the festivities that are going on on this channel, All Things Brass Technology. Tell some friends. And for all those people that come and watch D speak, review, storytell, teach, entertain, make you laugh, and do not subscribe, please subscribe. Helps the channel. Yes. But as always, thank you for being here with me. If you watch to the end, you are awesome. And as always, thank you for watching. See you soon.